All right, release the clamps and don't die. Let us kill you. Focus on the clamps, Peter. We'll try to keep them off of you. One down. Hold fast. <laughs> and don't die. More deal with these rebels. Focus on the clamps, Peter. We'll try to keep them off of you. One down. I'm still showing plenty of lost clamps. Where's There's another one. All right. I'm hooked into the Milano system. Oh, Where's shoot. my tunes? I got your study there, music. All right, release the clamps and don't die. 
has abandoned us, Peter Quill. I doubt we shall win this battle. He may be right. Our strikes, our timing, something's off. I know we should be better than this, but maybe we're not. Yo, we, um, go. Okay, stop. Stop doubting yourselves. You're talking like you've lost your mojo. But I know you. You're champions. Every time. Who's with me? Feel my wrath! Can't wait to take him down! Oi! What? Oh. Um. Oh, no! We should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over a cold catastrophe. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because <sighs> that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the tracker's still counting down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock and a hard place? That is what I said. Hala knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. 
We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Oh, wait, I can just get up. Peter Quill, <laughs> what does killing two birds with one stone signify? It means solving two problems with a single solution. Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. I thought paying our fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Nova Corps has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this. Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Nova Corps if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Nova Corps officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, things. sure. It's not like That's I fucking great. hate you right now. Uh, one uh, 150. Low life buff. Charm hundred for the uh, firing rate doubled, and health drops below twenty five percent. Uh oh, hundred fifty. Uh. Oh, don't. Uh, I don't think I. Hmm. Okay, wait. Um. Where left of Yeah, oh, okay. Quill, I, I even bother it. helping you, Quill. Done. Um. See you um, never, Quill. See you never. And go talk to Rocket. Uh, hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Leave us alone, Quill. The Nova Tracker on Peter's chair isn't looking good. The countdown is making me anxious. Three cycles is not a sufficient oh, well. amount of time. I really well, hope we can have the thing removed on Nowhere, or we'll need a new ship. I suggest getting one that smells more pleasant. <laughs> okay. I need to clear my mind. This book is not helping. If you need a recommendation, a I just finished the World Mind's postmortem on ineffective planet. So those coordinates. They're in your console. Got it. Assassin, nowhere here we come. Spaceport on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wonder what kind of person found it was like, oh look, the severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. 
They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare, very valuable. The marketplace came after, along with noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Novacor all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! Okay. So we're nowhere on the nowhere. Group. Did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Okay. Hypothetically, if Rocket and Groot don't come back, I wonder if we should rename the team. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. Guess you were right. Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. Okay. Can't we get going all right? Fine. This is Cosmo the dog. My dog. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. Okay. In the cave. Nice. Spaceport seems busier than normal. War always moves the core to the frontiers. The Galactic War was over 12 okay. revolutions ago. But and we're still weird. waiting for the fallout. Wounds here. Okay. <laughs> While many scars remain. Very really weird. What is this? Ooh, ooh. That was a great vacation. What is he looking at? What about Rocky and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. It isn't That's your advice. Apology does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? Yes, if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. Hmm. We could still okay. pay the fine. But we'd have to go all the way to so New Xander to do it. Ooh. What if we get there and it's compromised too? There's got to be someone shady enough in the market who can help. Maybe. We have to deal Nova Corps all the time. Maybe we can pay the fine through him. Hey. It's not like something out of Star Wars or something. <laughs> How do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Hey there. I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Should be. You know the way? Head straight through the market. You can't miss it. Okay. Oscar! Be good to see 
Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope, he met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave, and it befits them. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right, heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Maybe Cosmo will have a fetch quest for us or something. We might even come out ahead on this. Keep an eye on your things. These troops are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. They have fortune tellers on Earth, Peter Quill. There are people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. I've encountered them on several planets. Do you mind? You're making me uncomfortable. That and walking on two legs. I always imagined aliens would be more alien. I've got enough to worry about with the present. Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. He's gone, Drax. His death helped end the war. Or his adopted daughter. You believe that? I didn't. Not for a long time. If Thanos was still alive, he'd have come after me by now. <laughs> Nexus, what are you... Do you still have those suicidal urges? What? No. Huh. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. Hi. Sunlord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Starlord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi, I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh, oh you poor... No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. Where the contact is here? Broken promise of all will be mended. Mantis, you okay? Oh, hey, Gamora! You look less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah. Uh. Hey guys! You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> Yeah, okay. You're gonna keep making my face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You are being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest Ooh. thing you've ever called me. I told Peter Quill I would try. That is not the point. Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they don't do. Don't you start I won't. That woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss okay. her. Okay. Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does, anyway. It's a wonder this head hasn't collapsed in on itself yet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, you think Mantis oh. has a stall in Seer Square? Mantis always struck me as. Huh. Hey, dude! Hi, Groot. Rocket, you can't. Just ignore me. We gotta talk about this. Uh. Something's you okay, Drax? 
Hey, what's that? Yes, I'm okay, Grumble. I just. I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. Who's that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! You believe that? Talk to Cosmo alone. Yeah. Everyone's left. So uh, I guess I'm on my own then. Oh. Sometimes I think the sleep oh, wait, is I'm... the only thing holding nowhere together. Don't the wrong way, I guess. Some of that stuck in my boots. Hey, they're gone now. Rocket and group. But they're not in the bar anymore. That employee was Uh so I don't know. What's I'm, the deal with this pitch thing? I don't know. I guess it's some kind of gonna Explore this nowhere a bit. Yeah, left them my play. Work out then. What's wrong, honey? You look terrible. This is a place to forget your troubles. Got one thing left to do, and then I plan on doing some serious forgetting. Hey. That smell. Just doing some exploring here. Let's see. I hope Cosmo's oh. in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. See soon. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out the way. Holly. Holly. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there, Star Lord in Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo prison. You choose. Okay, take alternate route. Some more components. Awesome. Yeah. No, I think we're good. just got it. Head on. Try find Co find Cosmo.
Mm. Of course, if anyone happens to be enjoying the stream at all, feel free to drop us a like and a subscribe. Maybe share the stream out would be awesome as well. Yeah, if I can just find Cosmo. Cosmo, you in here? Cosmo. Sure, not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay. Rotting brain. So if I find Cosmo, then I can deal with the team. If I can find them. Are you afraid, Peter Quill? I'm a brute and near invincible. I fear nothing. You, however, will perish in this maze. Okay. Um. I. Cosmo, that you? Oh, I hate mazes, especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude, deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Ooh. Down this way, or... Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. And, uh... Yeah. Wait. Oh. Um. I don't... Nah. I'm... Okay, wait. I think I went... Can I go down this way? Oh. Don't... Guess not. Um. Wait, yeah, I'm just going... Hmm. We'll go this way. That way before. Look at you, Flarkin Humey. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. Okay. Flark! You're giving yourself a heart attack. Cosmo! Where's Cosmo? Come on, Cosmo! I'm gonna like this. Enjoy the films. I'm enjoying this game. Oh no! Oh no! That's not good. Look at what we got here. Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rosen? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys, wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. <sighs> Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. 
just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, die hard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him. Blood mother. to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, 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 lots of people have jackets. Oh. Yeah, but oh. you're the one who oh, no. wanted. So hurry up and die. Wait, the lady ain't want him alive. Dead. <laughs> uh, uh, lady H, whatever Lady Hellbender's hand you, I'll double it. No dice. You don't cross Lady H. Uh, the triple. Oh, 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 I'll triple it. Yeah, now, Ross. Oh hell. Uh, I, mm. <laughs> Guys, this is a big misunderstanding. Scroll oh no. Oh. Wait. No. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> <laughs>
is weakened. Attack! Let's make him feel it! Happening. Get my guns. Oh no. Uh, Come on. Mode. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Mom. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Dan says every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Sky's clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Oh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now, more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What sort of enemies? I'm not sure exactly. His people were at war. And he knew that if he stayed with us, the war would follow him to Earth. So he made the hard choice. He gave up this life for the sake of his people. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But 
being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave, but you're going to have to be smart. Things may get messy. I'm going to let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Big, big departure. Oh, moon, sir. Invaders from outer space? They must be here for you, Peter. Please run! Thank <laughs> you. 